We are standing outside of the budget rental car where we just dropped off our rental car and we are making our way to the cruise port because we are heading on our first cruise in three years. So we'll see you there. In this video, I'm sharing what it's like to board a cruise ship as of November 2022. We went on a Mexican Riviera cruise with Norwegian, and this is our experience boarding the Norwegian Bliss. This ship was built in 2018, has a passenger capacity of 4,004 plus 1,716 crew, and there are 20 decks to explore, so needless to say, it's a pretty big ship. I wanted to share a little bit of information about what it's like checking into a cruise. It's pretty much the same as pre-COVID, you wait in a lot of lines. When we got to the terminal, we waited for about an hour, and then we were able to go and board the ship. Worldport Los Angeles is the main terminal where we boarded the ship, and like pretty much every other cruise port we've been to, it was quite hectic with arrivals and departures. We sat in the port for about an hour after checking in, and then we were called over the speaker system to officially begin boarding. This is also a process. We had to find the escalators and then walk up the ramps to get to the deck where they were scanning your cruise card to get on board. It kind of feels like your cattle following the herd to the front, but at least you shouldn't get lost. But do expect to spend a lot of time in lines. While you're waiting, you can also see the forklifts loading on all of the supplies and luggage for the week ahead. It's actually quite interesting to see it in action and is one of my favorite parts of boarding. Those workers and crew on board have a lot of work to do to get the ship ready for the next voyage and to get all of the food and beverages and supplies they need organized while the next set of passengers board. Once on board, we were given more hand sanitizer and directed to find our muster station to check in. This part is always a little chaotic, but luckily for us, our muster assembly station was right at the entrance. We have officially made it onto the Norwegian Bliss. We just had our hands sanitized and we found out where our emergency meetup station is in case there is a real emergency. And now we are free to tour the ship, go get lunch and drinks until we can go to our room, which is usually around four o'clock. Our first activity was trying to get lunch. We usually avoid the buffet on the first day because it gets really busy. So we went to Ocean Place 678 which is the center of the ship and open to deck six, seven, and you guessed it, eight. On deck seven was the local pub and they do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We ordered a few things off the menu and then we were off to explore more of the ship while we waited for our cabin to be ready. The Bliss is also one of the ships on the fleet that offers the District Brew House, which is a great craft brewery vibe and also offers 24 beers on tap and over 50 bottled beers for those who appreciate craft style beer. The District has a number of cocktails on the menu as well, some even made with the beer. This probably goes without say, but it was one of our favorite spots on the ship. And in the evenings, they had some great live entertainment as well. I did a full tour of the District Brew House from when we were on the Norwegian Escape, so if you want to check it out, I've linked to that video in the description below. Just as we finished at the District Brew House, they made the announcement that all stateroom cabins were ready, so we could go drop off our stuff in our cabin. On previous cruises, it's taken much longer for our cabin to be ready, and sometimes it was closer to 4 p.m. So we were happy to drop off our backpacks and then hit the pool decks for the sail away party. And Norwegian has a pretty fun sail away party, but unfortunately I can't play any of the music because I don't want a copyright strike.
After we sailed out of port, we continued on exploring the ship and tried our first specialty dining restaurant of the cruise. And that brings us to the end of this video, so if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. And be sure to stay tuned for more cruise content including our cabin tour, ship tour, and what we got up to in each of the ports on our Mexican Riviera cruise itinerary. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.